The heliporter is controlled through the use of two control cables running down the handle uh, to the uh, hydraulic valve. One control cable uh, moves the valve that causes the platform to raise up and down. The other one controls the wheel motor. You can order a cable uh, from Parabian and this will look like uh, when you receive it. To replace it, it's relatively simple. The first thing you'd want to do is remove the screw, this location, and we'll talk about the wheel motor uh, cable. Uh, remove the rod end and the nut off of there. You push this little boot off, push this boot off, remove this nut, slide it off. We now have this one free. We go to the center here and we remove all of the tie wraps all the way down along here to free it up away from uh, the other uh, cord that's running along there. It's best to be able to get underneath the unit if possible. It makes uh, it a whole lot easier doing this. Down here we remove this bolt. We'll remove this rod end, this nut, this boot, this boot, and this nut and washer. We then back this one off all the way uh, so that it'll slide up so that we can pull the cable down through uh, a ways to free it up on this end so that it'll slide back here and we can take this nut off, slide it off the end. Then we'll go back down and slide this cable back along, spin the nut all the way along the threads until it comes off and slide it cable all the way out and pull it out through here and all the way out. Then we'll turn around and reverse the process. We'll slide the cable down through there, down through here, and once again all the hardware has to be removed to do this. And down here through here, down underneath here, through the lug, and clear on down here so as to allow the end up there to uh, allow the nut to be put on and then slid back through the lug. Now an important point, these lugs must be in the vertical position. If they make contact with some hard surface uh, concrete or asphalt or uh, something on the ground and get bent, it throws this out of adjustment and the unit will not function properly. So ensure these are, are per perpendicular to, the, to this. Okay, we now, we put the nut on up there, then slide it, uh, put the nut on here, slide it back down through, we put the boots back on and reassemble the thing. And one thing I like to do before I take it off uh, is measure this thread distance here on both ends. That gives me an idea where it should be adjusted to. Once you have all the hardware back on on both ends, you can tie wrap all of this back. Then you'll want to ensure that it's functioning properly. So you'll rotate the handle like this, it should come back, rotate the, this way, it should snap back. Now, if we rotate it all the way like this, it should stay there. It should not snap out by itself unless I turn it. See, then it comes out. If it snaps out by itself, it's not adjusted properly. It's not pushing the, the uh, valve lever far enough forward. Okay, then here, we don't want this nut making contact here prior to the uh, valve hitting the stop on the valve body. Once you've gotten it adjusted, if you'll put it on the ground and then operate it without an aircraft on to ensure that everything functions properly. If you discover that you put it in this position and you run the hydraulic motor, and the wheel turns, you don't have it adjusted properly. You're not going far enough into the detent. You're not pushing the lever far enough at this location, this lever right here. And it's all adjusted through the two nuts there, the two nuts on that end. 
and you can see where this needs to be and we'll put it back like that and you'll see there's the neutral position okay